this is just a short video for uh, people who um, need to have their Triumph engine rebuilt and just find anybody local or somebody else that works on cars and oh yeah we can build engines we all build engines all the time we know what we're doing blah 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 this is why you need an actual Triumph expert I've had so many engines that were so screwed up that I've had to repair other people's work and this is just one example I just found today a uh, company in Charlotte rebuilt this engine um, I'm prepping to run it for the first time they actually had rebuilt the engine didn't even put oil in it and it had been sitting for about six months in their shop no oil in the transmission or rear end but uh, put oil in tried to turn the pump over with a with the uh, spare shaft got zero oil pressure um, no push pressure coming out of the line uh, it was pumping out of the uh, actual filter housing but um, come to find and those who know TR3 and 4 engines you may notice something strange about that um, there's no bushing this bushing was completely missing I just pulled this out of a spare block in my collection and I'm hoping this used piece will have the same tight clearance and I can just knock this in and be done. Um, I think you actually have to press them in on the TR6s. But um, apparently the oil galley goes up and it's split between these two um, bushings and this opening. And that's where it goes into the crank um, and runs in, in the block. So um, just a heads up, just because someone rebuilds engines for a living doesn't mean they actually know what they're doing on these Triumph engines. I do this for a living. This is the only thing I work on. Just Triumph engines. I don't work on MGs. I mean, sure, I can do carburetors. They're all the same. SUs and stuff. But um, the TR6 engine last year was a big pain in the ass, too. But uh, anyway, heads up. If you want someone to build your engine, trust it to an expert.